tuna, a valuable food source for centuries, was historically caught in the wild using methods like harpooning and the hook and line technique. Communities around the world depended on the bountiful tuna runs and developed various methods to catch these fish. As demand grew and wild stocks began to decline, the need for sustainable practices led to the birth of tuna farming in the 1970s. Last time you were enjoying your favorite tuna sandwich, salad, or sashimi, did you ask yourself whether the fish was caught in the wild or was the result of farming? Join us on a journey from the depth of the ocean to uncover how this tiny egg ended in a delicious meal. In this episode at Tech Revolt, we reveal the secrets behind tuna farming. From the fish's historical roots to the advanced technologies helping it find its way to your dinner table. Join us as we unlock the mysteries behind the process and cutting edge technology to raise these magnificent fish sustainably while meeting increasing demands and environmental regulations. What is tuna farming? Tuna farming, also known as aquaculture, involves raising tuna in large offshore pens or cages, which mimic conditions in the wild, but allow for more controlled breeding, feeding, and harvesting. This method helps meet the global demand for tuna without overfishing natural populations. Cages are designed to allow water to flow through while keeping the tuna contained. These cages are engineered with selective material for their structures to ensure durability and stability. Suitable locations are carefully chosen in the ocean so that critical conditions such as water temperature, currents, and oxygen levels are favorable for tuna growth. Tuna farming requires constant monitoring of water quality and fish health to ensure optimal conditions for growth. Farmers regularly check parameters such as water temperature, salinity, and oxygen levels, and may adjust feeding schedules or water circulation as needed. In tuna farming, primarily, two species are commonly used, Atlantic bluefin tuna and Pacific bluefin tuna while other tuna species like yellowfin, big eye, skipjack, and albacore are commercially harvested from the wild and play important roles in global seafood markets, they are not typically farmed to the same extent as Atlantic and Pacific bluefin tuna. The farming process, hatcheries. The journey begins in the hatchery where tuna breeding is carefully managed. Here, eggs are harvested from mature tuna, and the process ensures a controlled and efficient production of fertilized eggs. After fertilization, the eggs are incubated in controlled conditions until they hatch into larvae. These tiny larvae are then nurtured with special diets to ensure healthy growth and survival. In modern tuna farming hatcheries, advanced technologies play a crucial role in improving efficiency and ensuring successful production. Few technologies to name are automated feeding systems to ensure precise and timely feeding while reducing labor costs and ensuring seamless operation, and water quality management systems to control water quality parameters. hatchery automation technologies which streamline processes such as eggs, collection, sorting, and grading. In addition to monitoring systems with cameras and sensors for real-time monitoring of fish behaviors and feeding patterns, hatcheries are essential components of the tuna farming industry supporting sustainable aquaculture practices by supplying juvenile fish 
while reducing pressure on wild fish stocks. In addition, they provide a consistent supply of young tuna for farming operations. Hatcheries also serve as research and development centers for studying tuna biology and behavior. This research helps improve techniques for captive breeding, larval rearing, and overall management of tuna populations. Juvenile growth. As the larvae grow, they are moved to larger tanks or sea cages where they have more space to grow and develop. Similar to hatcheries, it is of crucial importance to monitor process conditions, such as water quality and temperature. During this juvenile phase, fish diet is gradually adjusted to include various proteins and vitamins, essential for their development into strong, healthy adult tuna. Depending on the species and availability, this diet may consist of live prey, such as small fish or squid, as well as formulated feeds containing a balanced combination of proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals. As the juvenile tuna grow, they are periodically graded and sorted based on size to prevent overcrowding and ensure uniform growth. This process allows farmers to optimize space utilization and maximize the growth potential of each fish. The duration of the juvenile growth stage varies depending on factors such as species, environmental conditions, and farming practices. The juvenile growth stage is a critical phase in tuna farming, laying the foundation for the eventual harvest of healthy, market-sized fish. Proper management and care during this stage are essential for achieving optimal growth rates, maximizing production efficiency, and ensuring the sustainability of the aquaculture operation. On growing. In the on growing stage, juvenile tuna are transferred to even larger sea cages in the open ocean. Here they have more space to swim and grow, which is crucial for their physical condition and overall health. During the on-growing phase, tuna farmers focus on optimizing the environment to promote healthy growth and maximize production efficiency. This includes monitoring and managing key environmental factors such as water temperature, salinity, dissolved oxygen levels, and water quality to ensure optimal conditions for the fish. Nutrition is also a critical aspect of the on-growing phase, as it directly influences the growth rate and quality of the tuna. Farmers provide a balanced diet consisting of a combination of live prey such as small fish or squid, as well as formulated feeds specifically designed to meet the nutritional needs of the tuna. Routine health assessments including visual inspections and sampling for parasites or diseases are conducted, and additional measures such as vaccination or medication might be applied to maintain the health and welfare of the tuna. Harvesting. When tuna reach their ideal size and weight, they are ready for harvesting. This process is carefully managed to ensure the highest quality of fish. The tuna are selected and gently guided into smaller pens before being harvested. 
Advanced harvesting tools and equipment, such as specialized nets, lift systems, and underwater cameras, are used to capture and transfer tuna from the cages to harvesting vessels with minimal stress and damage. From farm to table. Tuna processing begins with harvesting mature fish from ocean pens or cages. After capture, they're transported to processing facilities where they're cleaned, gutted, and filleted. Tuna processing incorporates advanced technologies to enhance efficiency and quality. Automated cutting and filleting machines streamline the processing, ensuring precision and consistency in cuts. High pressure processing, HPP, is employed to extend shelf life while retaining freshness. Quality control systems utilize sensors and imaging technology to detect defects and ensure uniformity. Cold chain logistics maintain optimal temperatures during transportation, preserving quality from processing facility to consumer. Additionally, traceability systems such as barcoding and RFID tagging Track each tuna's journey from farm to table, ensuring transparency and food safety. These technological advancements play a vital role in delivering premium tuna products to consumers worldwide. Depending on market demands, tuna is packaged fresh, frozen, or canned. Frozen tuna is typically flash frozen to preserve flavor and texture. Canned tuna is cooked, sealed, and often flavored. Post-processing, products are distributed to local markets or exported globally. Consumers enjoy tuna in various dishes, from sushi to sandwiches, appreciating its versatility, taste, and nutritional benefits, and ending the tuna's journey at the dining table. And that concludes our journey from the vast oceans to your plate. Tuna farming not only provides us with delicious and nutritious food, but also plays a crucial role in the sustainable management of ocean resources. So, next time you are enjoying a tuna sashimi at the finest dining restaurant. Take a moment and appreciate the journey, the research, and the technological advancement it took to bring it to your plate. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive. Please subscribe to our channel for more interesting discoveries.